Hey guys, so we haven't had a mailbag video for a while and um, as luck would have it it's one of those when it rains it pours scenarios because in the space of one week I've had three packages arrive uh, at my place for various things to have a try with and this is one of the uh, one of the packages that arrived first and as you can see what we've got here is some of these uh, ceramic Sun Ultra Spark processors and this was sent in by a viewer that preferred to be anonymous but was sent from Australia so yeah they've traveled a little while for us to uh, to have a look at them so what we've essentially got here is, is two different types overall we've got these ones on the right which are a Sun Ultra Spark 3i and they have um, they have gold plated pins very similar to uh, maybe a P4 or something like that very small pins and then on the other side we've got um, this this kind which have the kind of gold plated landing pads and um, yeah so we have got in total 10 of these of the gold plated pins 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and I think we've got about 13 of, of these with the plating which I'll just I'll just confirm but I think what we'll do for these is we'll process the ones with the pins separate from the ones with the, with the plating because I suspect the ones with the pins are probably going to have more surface area of gold so to have a look at what's going on underneath these heat sinks here are some that I've prepared earlier so we have um, a very very heavy copper heat sink and as you can see under the heat sink all we pretty much have is a little bit of gold plating and then you can clearly see that this is a flip chip type processor so you can see the exposed die there which means that unfortunately we don't have any bond wires with these particular processors so um, but um, very very thick heavy copper heat sink you can see I've, I've given it a scratch there to check the material and I, I think this might be one of those cases where we find there's about as much value in the copper heat sink as there are in the in the gold plating and um, on the other side very much a similar story uh, so an even bigger even heavier copper heat sink I'll weigh these up and we can work out in the end what the the total value in copper in this scrap is and then same same kind of thing as we had on the other side we've got a little bit of gold plating around the outside a few capacitors in there um, exposed die flip chip nothing in the substrate of the material and then some gold plating on the bottom so in order to uh, pull off the heat sinks pretty straightforward I just uh, clamped a little ceramic bit in a vise uh, get a knife in there give it a couple of whacks on the back with a hammer and the, the heat sink pops off uh, basically splitting the die in half because you can see there's some of the die left on that side and some left on that side so yeah I'm going to go through with that um, pull, pull off all the pull off all the heat sinks and then I'm not going to bother to break them up there's no real use in breaking them up any further than, than whole and I think what we're going to do with these uh, seeing as it's going to be fairly straightforward as we're just going to do a straight dissolve in aqua regia hey guys so as you can see I've got those uh, sun spark processors here I'm starting with the ones that have the pins because my gut feel is that they are going to have substantially more gold than those uh, little plated ones um, you can see that I've broken them up into smaller bits um, th there's no gold in, in the substrate of this so the only real reason I've done that is to basically use less acid so what I'm going to do now is just uh, cover this in hydrochloric acid just enough to cover all the ICs uh, just some 38% hydrochloric acid I'm going to warm this up to about 75 degrees Celsius and then I'm going to start adding nitric acid in, I'll probably start with about five milliliters and then from there on I'll go in, in one milliliter increments until I see that essentially most of the, the pins are dissolved so the idea here is to just dissolve the gold and the base metals and everything and then from there on we will uh, filter off the solution uh, denox with sulfamic acid and then drop the gold with uh, sodium metabisulfite so I'll get started with that um, nothing much exciting here uh, if there's any, anything in this process that you would like to see, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'll just kind of shoot by this and we'll um, have a weigh-in and see how these things perform. Hey guys, so I've got the results of the two sets of uh, Sun Ultra Spark processors uh, that are done. And 
very 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 disappointing results uh, this here as you guys can see is almost non-existent is from the plated processors uh, that's only a single refine as well because um, there's so little that I didn't even want bother to do a second refine this here is from the processors that had the pins a little bit more but still uh, still really next to nothing but there's only one way to really know let's uh, get it on the scale and then we'll uh, we'll do a bit of math there and and work it all out uh, let's get that set up okay I'm just going to put it uh, put it straight into a uh, another little glass beaker because I'll just do a second refine on it okay so this here is going to be the Sun Ultra Spark 3i. So the, oh no, this, sorry, this is the Sun Ultra Spark 4 and T1. This is the stuff that had the um, that had the plating, but not the pins. We get as much of that stuff out of there as I can. It's pretty. Uh, I'm using a little brush to just break it up a bit. It's not the easiest stuff to work with. Okay. To see roughly what we've got there. I, I'm hope, hoping my scale is going to be good enough to actually give us some kind of result here because I don't think there's going to be very much there. Yeah, so I need to use some chemicals to clean off the the last little bit from the glass here it's because I didn't uh, didn't do the second refine and wash it properly. But let's say uh, best case scenario yeah, so let's say let's say that's 0 0.2 grams, and now for the um, the Sun Ultra Spark 3i, this is the one that had the pins. Feels like there's a little bit more there, but um, once again, I don't think it's going to be very much. Let's make sure, make sure that's loosened up. Okay. Oops. Let's zero zero the scale. Make the math a bit easier. Let's see what's in this one. It's actually, uh, actually very similar. So once again, about zero point. We'll call it zero point two on a good day. So uh, yeah, I'll get the numbers transcribed and um, we'll do some math and see what these things are worth. Okay, guys, I've done the maths and how it works out. So we had about point two grams of each of the two types of processors, and that gives us about twelve dollars each in gold value. So twenty-four dollars for that whole stack. Uh, which is pretty terrible for ceramic processors. Uh, the IC, the per yield, because we had 10, the the ones with the pins uh, gave us about 0 0.02 grams each, and the ones with the uh, with the plated bottoms gave us about 0 0.015 grams, so 15 milligrams there and 20 milligrams there. That means that the value at the end of the day is about a dollar twenty each for those ICs that have the um, that have the pins, which is, is still a lot better than the the Pentium four type chips. I think from memory they were about thirty cents each, so so terrible, but not that terrible, and um, a, a little bit less than a dollar um, for the ones with the plated bottoms. This is based on uh, sixty sixty dollars New Zealand per gram of gold, which is roughly what it is now. Um, so just as a as a final, let's quickly have a look at what the uh, what the copper is worth in these. I thought initially that the copper was probably going to be worth more than the gold. I don't think so at the moment based on what I'm seeing, but let's see. So that's the first bunch from the plated processors. Oops. Let's go to something useful like grams. So 817 grams there plus. That's from the ones with the pins. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's call that 1.2 kilos. So 1.2 kilograms of uh, copper heat sinks, and at about seven dollars uh, per kilogram, which is roughly what copper is selling for in New Zealand these days for scrap, that gives us good amount. So eight dollars forty. Let's put that in there. Uh, Eight dollars forty uh, for total for the uh, for the copper value. So the copper value in these is about a third of what the what the gold value is. So uh, yeah, very interesting results there. I hope uh, my viewer from Australia uh, gets to see what he wants to see. Uh, yeah, so not not bad, terrible results, but not very very good either. Um, yeah, I 
that it is what it is. Uh, I'm fairly sure we've got all the gold that there is to get. Uh, very consistent results between the two types. So, yep, that makes sense. Cool. I'll uh, catch you guys next time.